Today on Turned Up Tech, we're talking about cell phone and tablets. In this show, we have What's Happening Apps. Also, Tech Girl is on the streets in Hollywood getting the post of people on technology. Our special guest is Sadie Gossett, who is a pioneer in iPhone movies. All this and more on Turn Up Tech. a new show that's dedicated to reviewing and testing the latest technology on the market. Guys, how would a computer tell you that it needs more space? Oh. Well, it says, bite me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Right, I've got one more for you. This is a good one. How is a computer like air conditioning? When it opens the window, it doesn't work. <laughs> Guys, enough of the silly jokes. They'll go on forever. Right. Today, we're going to talk about technology, in particular, cell phones and apps. Technology, in particular, with cell phones and apps, has evolved over the number of years. Now, you know, <coughs> technology with interacting with humans and their daily lives, for example. I mean, we've got apps for all kinds. Apps for, you know, dating. We've got apps for making recipes and cooking. We've got apps for juicing. There's apps for everything you can think of. I mean, for example, Facebook recently just bought WhatsApp for a whopping $19 billion. So that just goes to show how lucrative the apps are becoming, even more so than the cell phones themselves. I mean, on tonight's show, we're not only going to talk about cell phones and apps, but we're also going to introduce Sati Gossett, who is a pioneer, a local filmmaker from the LA area. So he's going to come on the show and I'll be interviewing him. And also, we're going to fortunately have the beautiful tech girl, who's going to be on location. Now let me pass you over to Reed, who's getting carried away with his Tinder. How's that Tinder going, Reed? Tinder, Neil? Nah, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about learning a new language, all right? Tell me some more. Yeah, I'm going to tell you about this uh, new app called Duolingo, all right? So here it is. Have you ever tried to uh, wanted to say a word in a different language? Let's say uh, book in French. Um, Let's say you wanted a food in Italian. How about love in German? Oh, yeah. I know some of you are feeling that one. Anyway, so there's this new app, Duolingo. It's so easy to use. All you have to do is install the app, okay, and then put in your, create your account, and voila. All right? So this is one of the coolest apps, and you can learn up to 10 different languages. All right. It is so easy to use. We're going to pick three audience members to participate in a little game that we're going to play later on in the show. Um, I need some volunteers, guys. Volunteers, volunteers. Oh, oh how are you doing? Um, what's your name? Cecilia. Cecilia. That's a nice name. OK. What language would you like to learn? Italian. Italian. Oh, I love Italian. So you want to learn Italian? Reed Corleone is going to help you here, okay? <laughs> Bella, Bella. <laughs> All right, um, who's the next person, next victim? Yes, sir. Yes, how are you doing? What's your name? I am Sean. Sean, nice to meet you, Sean. And what language would you love to learn? I would like to learn French. You would love to learn French, okay. Uh, je ne sais pas français. Oh, yeah, I got it down, okay. We need one more person, one more. Oh, wow, you're all there. Okay. Um, how about you, sir? What's your name? My name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey, how are you doing today? I'm great. Okay. What language would you like to learn? Spanish. Spanish. Okay. Ay, los miros. Okay, here we go. So, this is what's going to happen. Later on, we're going to take a break right now, and what's going to happen is... These three people are going to take out their little smartphones, Androids, whatever you got, iPhones, and we're going to teach them how to install the app, Duolingo, okay? And then later on the show, we're going to play a game, which is going to be so cool. So, 
I'm actually playing Duolingo, and it says, I don't know if you can hear it here. Let me turn up the volume so you can hear this. Oh yeah, C si gracias. So what happens is I have to put it and say C, si, yes, thank you. And then once I do that, it'll say, okay, good, correct, go on to the next phase. So can you guys get out your uh, cell phones and we can start working on that? Okay, your cell phone all right? Uh, that's a little, yeah, okay. How you doing back there, Jeffrey? Okay, cool. How you doing, Cecilia? All right, cool. So while they're going to go ahead and uh, work on that, we are going to come back. And when we come back from break, you'll see what we have done with uh, learning this new language for them, Italian, French, and Spanish. Thank you very much, folks. Witness 1, Emily Madison Kelly, a textbook case of technological withdrawal, the pride of all electronic apparatuses by her parents due to erratic overuse. Emily has crossed the Rubicon and landed herself in the not quite right zone. Technology saved the day for young Emily. What can it do for you? Find out in the So Very Right Zone. where you can go, you can find fashion, you can find food, sports, ideas, cars, entertainment, ideas, do it yourself, crafts, everything. you get inspired by other people. Everything around you. Everything around you. People take a picture of it, they pin it, they tell you what to do. You tag it. Yes, you, do you send it. it to your friends, you save it, you create like a board on your own. There's just so many things you can do. Things like inspiration is so inspiring on awesome. Pinterest. We love it. Oh yes. TCL Creative Life is a Chinese based company that started off in China, I think in 1980s, and then now has progressively um, expanded. So, what's the difference like to Apple or I think 
the more the difference is that one is better technology because it's you know, I mean you just took a picture right here and sent it to yourself through your phone. And it's for free too, like the way that edits it's sort of like a TT sprint but it's TCL. My name's Martin and I'm from the UK. Uh, over here on holiday with my wife Anne. And I'm, Very nice. I'm Anne and I'm from Ireland originally. Wow. Yeah. Let's yeah. party. Want to see you guys in the awesome device here? Um, we have a tablet, a smartphone. Yes. Um, do you really use it on your trip, like just for pictures, or do you have anything else? Well, I use mine mainly for pictures. It's such a good camera on here. Okay. And uh, Facebook. Facebook. Yes, awesome. as well. So those are the two favorites. Okay. Uh, this this one is a Samsung. It's a uh, Note 8. Uh, we use this one for emails, Facebook again, photographs, because the okay. camera is absolutely awesome. So which camera is better? Mine. Really? Oh no. It is. Mine is. <laughs> Can I tell you about this? Yeah. Because I sure. use this as a camera, um, and I'm frightened of dropping it. This is okay. called, I got this in Australia. Australia. It's called a clip hanger. So it catches on the back of your holder and it rotates and I've got something to hang on to while I'm taking photographs, while I'm hanging over cliffs and things, yeah? <laughs>
Well, the pros is the, the ease of using it. It's not thousands of dollars, like if you had to rent a camera from a, a rental house or buy one. I mean, it, it's in your pocket already, so you already have the equipment. And um, the mobility, because it's so small. I mean, the cons, um, the lens is not that big. Um, it doesn't do well in low light. Okay. Um, and, and you can't manipulate it that well. So you can use standard lighting, like three-point lighting, or you can use natural lighting. But there are going to be some limitations as far as the depth of field. Like for the iPhone film, we attached a huge Canon lens, like a five-foot lens that you'd use like shooting the Super Bowl. But the, the, the depth of field, um, you can't tell the difference that it's shot really? on an iPhone, yes. Now, if you have to, uh, to get another piece of equipment, what would be the next piece of equipment you would be buying? Um, prime lenses, probably, because, again, there's limitations on the camera lens that's built into the iPhone, and prime lenses just makes it that much better and the quality much that much more accessible. Now, do you ha I know we spoke briefly about tips, but do you have any concrete tips that you could give up-and-coming filmmakers with an iPhone? Uh, what, what, how should they start out? What should they do to kind of get into this kind of field? Um, well, one thing you can do is just go on YouTube and go to the iPhone Film Festival and look at past winners and see what they're done and see what the phone is capable of. Uh, two, you would download the Filmic Pro app or another DSLR app so you can get that bump in the technology so it looks great. Because I know people are used to just using the, the video app as is, which is good, but it can be as manipulated to what you need to get a proper image for film. So get the Filmic Pro app or DSLR app. Um, get a focus harness just for the stability because, you know, a lot of people when they film, you know, it's all bouncy. This provides some st stability and it doesn't take viewers out of uh, the storytelling. And after that, I mean, it's as far as your imagination can take you. See, so do you have any up and coming projects and how can people contact you if they need to contact you? Well, people can contact me on Twitter. Um, it's my first and last name, Sati Gossett, at, at twitter.com. And I have a film that I'm shooting this month called Ten Minutes, uh, starring Glenn Plummer, Kent Falcon, and uh, Louis Gossett Jr., my dad. And um, yeah, it's just going to add more to the body of work, and it's just like going to the gym. You know, you got to wow. keep exercising the muscle. Wow, that's interesting. Now, stick around, guys. After the break, we're going to check out in with Reed and see how he's getting on with that app. Be sure, to, be sure to return back to Turned Up Tech. Thank you. And we're back. All right, guys, how you doing today? I'm Great. feeling good. You're feeling good? Yes. All right, Cecilia, Big Sean, and we have okay. Jeffrey here. They're going to play our game. So I'm going to explain the rules to you about this game we're going to play with Duolingo. So what's going to happen is I'm going to give you a word in English, okay? You're going to have to look it up on your phones. You have to get your phones out, your cell phones, okay? And then what's going to happen is you're going to look that word up, and then you're going to pronounce the word, okay? And then we're going to see if you say it correctly. If you say it correctly, we're going to give you 100 points. All right. How's that sound? Good. All fantastic. right, good. Good job. Jeffrey, come on. Get with it, man. Get excited, man. All right. So are you guys ready? Yes. All right, here we go. So I'm going to give you a word in that language, and you have to look it up, okay? All right. The first word is in Italian, the woman. Okay, who's going to be the first one? Uh-oh, I see. Oh, Cecilia. My goodness, you're like lightning. All right, girl. Okay, so tell me, how do you say the woman in Italian? La donna. La donna. Okay, good job. Give her a hand, guys. She said it correctly. Cecilia, you get 100 points. Okay, guys, you better step your game up. Um, All right. I plan on it. All right, here we go. So... The second word is we're going to do it in Spanish, and it's going to be the man. All right, here we go. Who's coming up? Who's coming up? Oh, Jeffrey, you're right there, Jeffrey. What? You're kind of up. Oh. Wow, Big Sean is fast. Okay, what do you have? What's the word? El 
hombre. El hombre is correct. Give him, give him a hand, guys. Give him a hand. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. You Thank get 100 you. points. Awesome. All right, Jeffrey, my man, I want you to hang in there. This is actually the last word that we're going to look up, OK? All right, please, man, get in there. All right, here we go. The last word is going to be in Italian, all right? Um, and it's going to be the boy. Can you look that up, please? Look that up. Come on, Jeffrey. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you're coming in there. I'm hoping you come. Come on, Jeffrey. Come on, buddy. Come on. Uh oh, big Sean. Oh. oh, my goodness, Cecilia. Can we even take a breath? OK, because my man Jeff didn't get anything. OK, Cecilia, for the win, what is the boy? Le Garçon. Le Garçon. OK, give her a hand, guys. She is the winner. And she wins the grand prize, the Batman Red Phone. There we go. All right, give her a hand, guys. All right. Give me a high five, guys. High five, high five, high five. All right, cool, cool. So. That's all the time we have. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or send us a message at turneduptech at gmail.com. Next week, we're on Turning Up the Music Tech. You don't want to miss this. On behalf of Neil Kumar, I'm Reed Young. Thank you. Good night. Give a hand applause, guys. Good job. Good job again. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You guys did a great job. All right. <laughs> Cecilia, girl, you are fast. You're doing all right. Jeez. Uh, Man. I, I tried. Oh my goodness. My Jeffrey. buzzer's not very functional. Jeffrey, no. man. Jeez. My buzzer's the best buzzer. I know. She had the best buzzer. She had the space invaders. And, and that's why she went. Oh, Jeffrey.